Arlington is a community of over 200,000 people. We have more than 50 civic associations. That's a lot of neighborhoods. And each with their own particular needs and circumstances. So how does the county respond to all of them? Well, for the past half century, they've used a unique process of civic participation called the Neighborhood Conservation Program. 50 years ago, some forward-thinking citizens went to the county staff and then went to the county board and says, how about we try this? And the county board said, yeah, let's go do it. And slowly but surely, we went from three civic associations to 48. When it was created in 1964, the goal was to empower residents by having them come together to discuss and share ideas for improving their neighborhoods. What the county board did was empowered us, the residents, to say, how can we as individuals, collectively through neighborhood conservation, make a real difference in improving the county as a whole? NC is the one body where you get dozens of activists every month sitting in the same room. And the reason we're there is because we believe that we can bring change into our neighborhoods in a very tactical way. And frankly, because we are spending our tax dollars and we're guiding that tax dollar spending. Now we're pro only providing recommendations to the board, but the county board has put trust in its citizens to come up with recommendations that it can trust. We get together and hear each other's concerns as neighborhoods. And then twice a year, we come up with a funding package of projects that we as a body agree are the highest priority. Over the years, the program has moved from beautification efforts to focus more on infrastructure needs, like installation of sidewalks, curbs and gutters, street lights, and park improvements. The program enables residents to identify and plan projects in their own neighborhood. The NC program is really about bringing money into the neighborhoods at a, literally at your feet. The park entrance over there has curbing that was worked through the NC program. We've got sidewalks over here that were completed into the park through the NC program. We've got a path the NC program helped us build across the park to create pedestrian access. Take for instance, this park we're standing in, Big Walnut Park. About four years ago, it was nothing more than a rusty hulk. And people would not come here with their kids because they were just going to get cut by the rusty equipment. A lot of the neighborhood sort of felt like our street was sort of the forgotten about street. We had a lot of potholes. It was, it was kind of a sad looking little street. I think everybody really wanted, you know, the improvements to be really good quality. And this, um, this was one of the ways to actually make sure it was really good quality. They dug out our street about two feet down and put in all new drainage uh, for our street. Then they uh, put in curbs and uh, sidewalks on one side of our street. They paved the street, and then we also got uh, the, uh, the, the prettier Carl-style light. It, it's, a, it's a lengthy process, but it, the process does kind of ensure that everybody gets to make sure that their concerns are, are taken care of. Every neighborhood has its own specific needs. It may be traffic calming and pedestrian safety, bikeable streets, recreation facilities. The Neighborhood Conservation Program is working to build a new Knock Town Center to preserve the community's heritage and revitalize its commercial core. While at Fort Ethan Allen Park, it's helped bring the past to life and all at the behest of the people who live on the block. And to me, that's really the beauty of the NC program. When it comes from the bottom up, by the time this, the bulldozer is on the street, the residents are behind it. If you give them an opportunity, their ideas may be very good. All of a sudden, you get a very strong and a very creative, powerful voice for the community. A voice that's been making itself heard in Arlington for 50 years now. <laughs>